Greetings, everyone. Sorry about the delay. Um, I'm still trying to learn how to use uh, how to use uh, this uh, Spreaker dot com uh, podcasting website. I'm still trying to learn how to use it. However, uh, let me start with my Messianic Ministry intro and exit. Once again, greetings everyone. Welcome to my audio cast 15 minute episode sermons. Due to these episodes only allowing 15 minute intervals, some sermons may stretch over into more than one episode to complete the topic. However, I will try to be respectful of your personal time and do my best to nourish your spirit within a 15 minute window. In fact, I pray unto the Lord In the sweet name of Jesus Christ, that the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit will guide my words to give you whatever you need from God in this short frame of time that will strengthen your personal uh, relationship with Jesus. Okay, so um, the name of this topic, and I'm watching my time, uh, the name of this topic basically is 1 Corinthians 14. Now, if you have been able to listen to some of my other sermons as this is live and unrehearsed and you already familiar with me knowing that um i you know pray and wait on the power and the presence of the holy spirit as i'm talking or as i'm reading or as i'm doing something um as i'm creating these episodes some of these episodes are uh, or some of these topics are incomplete because well i'm i'm Letting the spirit lead me. Uh, I just made a topic uh, with two episodes only, uh, just recently. The two episodes, but um, it's incomplete because I need more episodes to do. However, I'm waiting on two things. I'm waiting on other other people to learn how to follow me on Spreaker.com and and to join in, uh, join in uh, with uh, some chat questions or something like that for right now i don't have the the um upgraded version of uh, speaker.com so um i'm asking all of you to bear with me well as as more of you come in to listen and as more of you come in to uh to listen and and be notified by downloading the free app speaker.speaker.com with an r Download the free app and then um, they will notify you when I'm online, when I'm doing a live podcast. So I'm planting seeds and I'm waiting on the Lord, basically. Um, Some of my topics usually uh, have to do with me opening up my hymnal book and then uh, singing a song and uh, reflecting on what what particular scripture motivated the songwriter to, to write that song. Um, but that's not always going to be my my topic. See, today what happened was I was listening uh, on in my car on my CD, my um, New Testament CD, and it was talking. It came on First Corinthians fourteen, and so the main thing that what what usually happens is I want my uh, sermons to be led by the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. So what I do is, if the Holy Spirit touches my my spirit my soul and makes me think about something that's in the word that's uh, particularly like the chapter I want to talk about and um, so what I want to do uh, is read 1 Corinthians 14 getting along out of uh, the New American uh, Bible revised edition the St. Joseph edition I'm going to read out of that version but I also have with me my Spanish version and um and uh the King James Bible also I have that with me today. Uh I don't have my complete Jewish Bible with me. Well I do have it with me, but no, I think it's in the house somewhere. I'm sitting in my car right now because well, you know, the family's home and uh and I didn't I wanted someplace quiet so that uh I have no not too many interruptions while uh we are on topic. So so the way this works is that uh, after you download Spreaker.com or 
you get notified somehow through Facebook or Twitter or YouTube that I'm online uh, and you're following me, uh, what happens is, uh, you know, I think they'll notify you that I'm online and then we can take it from there. Um, I have a place and of course you'll see it too, where it says chat. Uh, and I, and I don't think it's a uh, live chat right now because of my 15 minute intervals. Um, so we will just, uh, wait on the Lord to provide for me to, uh, advance and like you will see in my in my um uh, in my uh exit i will offer you the opportunity to to give some financial support to this ministry to daryl's dream ministry um i'm waiting patiently on that financial support so that i can begin to uh give a monthly payment to speaker.com which will give me more airtime than 15 minutes. And it will give me uh, more time to do other things. And I believe like as I upgrade, uh, all of you who are listening can participate better in the in the podcast as it's going live instead of. And then at, at that point, it will be more like a, a radio talk show, maybe or something like that. But it will still be me giving sermons um and sermons are not a debate. It'll still be me giving sermons. However, uh, I will be receiving and I'll have to learn how to look at and, and receive your chats and your chat questions or your statements and uh, put them into the sermon as I speak. Now, I see I have uh, only like seven minutes here. And uh, like I said, I want to read these things. Of course, uh reading this chapter and going off into other episodes i will do that uh tonight uh there'll be 15 minute episodes um each episode is going to have my exit also so like the last two minutes of this particular episode will um i will read off my uh messianic exit and then i will create uh episode two this is also good too because broken down in 15 minute intervals like this it gives uh me time to or you time it's like uh intermission give it'll give you time to go do something else or or uh pay attention to something else before you come back to the next part and you know it, i i think this leaves it up to all of you to to uh to listen to these episodes and listen to these sermons in your own free time uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to begin reading uh, chapter 14. And of course, I'm going to have to take this up again in perhaps in another in another episode. Uh, OK, here we are. The subtitle of chapter 14, Prophecy Greater Than Tongues. Pursue love. But strive eagerly for the spiritual gifts above all that you may prophesy. For one who speaks in a tongue does not speak to human beings, but to God. For no one listens. He utters mysteries in his in spirit. On the other hand, one who prophesies does speak to human beings. For their building up, encouragement, and solace. Whoever speaks in the tongue builds himself up, but whoever prophesies builds up the church. Now I should like all of you to speak in tongues, but even more to prophecy. One who prophesies is greater than one who speaks in tongues, unless he interprets so that the church may be built up. Now, brothers, if I should come to you speaking in tongues, what good will I do you if I do not speak to you by way of a revelation or knowledge or prophecy or instruction? Likewise, if inanimate things that produce sound 
such as a flute or a harp, do not give out the tones distinctly, how will that, will what is being played on the flute or the harp be recognized? And if the bugle gives an indistinct sound, who will get ready for battle? Similarly, if you, because of speaking in tongues, do not utter intelligible speech, how will anyone know what is being said? For you will be talking uh, to the air. It happens that uh, there are many different languages in the world and none is meaningless. But if I do not know the meaning of a language, I shall be a foreigner to the one who speaks it, and one who speaks it a foreigner to me. So with yourselves, since you strive eagerly for spirits, seek to have an abundance of them for building up the church. So um, that right there, speaking about tongues and prophecies, I would like the, you know, the Pentecostals or the, the people who think that you're not saved unless you're speaking in tongues to, to really listen up to that part. You know, they were, there were people saying that back then when the Apostle Paul was, uh, was uh, you know, alive. And it was people trying to twist twist scriptures or, like you said, sometimes people interpret things differently than what they're, they're really meant to be. And they use human wisdom instead of godly wisdom. Um, and speaking in tongues and uh, those people who handle snakes, you know, those are two people who, um, if they do that on their own between them and God, it's okay. But the moment they start telling other people that because you don't speak in tongues or because you don't handle snakes that you're not truly born again that's when it becomes a a, um, a a wrong issue and that's the kind of stuff that that first corinthians 14 is dealing with the apostle paul is writing about so i see right now that i only have two minutes and 20 seconds so i'm going to start my messianic exit and then we will continue this in chapter two i mean in episode two of uh first corinthians 14 I can see that my time is almost over. Now is a good time for me to close out with a quick thank you for tuning in and a prayer unto the Lord Jesus Christ that in this short 15 minute time frame, you, the listener, have received a blessing, whether the sermon could be covered in 15 minutes or less or not. I pray also that if it is necessary for another episode, which it is, to be created in order to complete this sermon that the Lord provides you with the necessary time to listen to any other parts as well. If you would like to give your financial support to this ministry, please contact me through my Daryl's Dream Facebook page, uh, Facebook Messenger, or uh, I just opened up YouTube and Twitter. Uh, just contact me uh, via email if you have to. Made a new creature at gmail.com and that's spelled M-A-D-E-A-N-U-C-R-E-A-T-U-R-E at gmail.com. Once again, thank you for making the time to listen and be blessed. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.